So Chris gave me such a hard time with a gimbal. We're gonna see how he does. Where are you going? <laughs> Not so easy, huh? We've had the camper for about a year and a half now. I think this camper is good for what we needed. I don't think it would be good for someone or ourselves to live in. We chose a camper that did not have slots. So it's a little compact, but for what we need to go to tournaments, it serves its purpose. We're not in here all the time. If we were, I think it would get a little cramped. So our closets, we have one on either side. So that's mine. This is a five day trip and I packed half my closet. And Chris has like three shirts in his, no big deal. I'm a little surprised by how much we're able to fit. I keep my books and stuff like that in the back. I usually keep a little basket of clothes or something in the back too. Something I like about our camper, we wanted a shorter one, but we still wanted to have a normal bed. I like a bed that I can sit up in, so that was a big thing for us. The sofa folds down and then we have a Murphy bed and it's a queen. It actually has a residential mattress in it. I like this one just as much as our mattress at home. So here's the bed. I think we made this for the first time. This bed feels bigger than a queen to me. I think it's just because it's almost wall to wall, but it always feels bigger than our bed at home. Chris disagrees with me. So all down here under the couch, we keep shoes, Sam's pop-up crate. There's a lot of storage under there actually. And then here's the kitchen. Up here we keep our dishes, our angry mama for the microwave. One thing I don't like about our camper in particular is most microwaves in a camper, they're also a convection oven. Ours is not. It's only a microwave, so we don't have any kind of oven. I was really excited to have an oven slash microwave because my grandma told me it cooks better than any oven she's ever had inside. So that's probably one of the main things that I'm sad that we don't have. So then we have the hood, two burners, it is gas. Everything that we need for the kitchen, as far as utensils, is all in this one drawer. Which, again, is perfect for what we need, but if we were living in here, it would be a little difficult. Ugh. You gotta really pull them where it's a camper. So under here on the top we keep all of our stuff to cook. So this is a little oven and toaster that I use. And on the bottom we just keep things like cleaning supplies, our trash bags. Here's the sink. I like that we have this for just extra counter space when we're not using the sink. It's actually a pretty big sink. Very handy in a little kitchen. And then we have the fridge. So the fridge itself is pretty big. We can fit a lot of stuff in it. A disappointing note has been our freezer. So I like to make smoothies and we keep frozen fruit. And this is all we have for a freezer. You're not going to fit much in them. The last thing for the kitchen would be this bottom shelf. This is where we keep all of our food, supplements, all of that stuff. Other two shelves. We usually give Sam a shelf. And then the third shelf is always just miscellaneous. The lower shelf down here we keep our towels, washcloths. Here's the dining room. Sam is currently on the dinette. So under the dinette, this whole side here that Sam is on is storage. Chris usually puts three Prodigy practice bags in there when we are using the camper to tour, not just for an anniversary trip. We can fit about 90 to 120 discs yeah. under there. And this side has a half storage unit. We usually keep our tool bag in there. Up here above the dinette, we keep all of our clothes. And again, this is a five day trip. All of these are my clothes and these are Chris's. But even when we're on long trips, this is about how much space we each get. 
thank goodness he needs a lot less clothes than I do. I like to have options. So we have this TV. We actually used it for the first time on this trip. It swivels this way so we can sit in bed and watch it. And then there's this little bungee shelf thing back here. When we're on long trips, we keep our detergent and dryer sheets back there. Whew. Here's our bathroom. We have this little medicine cabinet up here. And then down here, this is usually the area Chris gets for his stuff. So here's the actual bathroom. Toilet. No pooping in the camper. If you poop in your camper, you're a savage. Don't do that. I will say I did want a shower that had a door. We ended up getting one that had a curtain. But I have seen camper showers that are half this size. And I can get in the shower and stretch my hands out on the walls. But I've also seen a lot of fifth walls that have huge showers. I do like that our bathroom has the toilet and shower in here and the sink and stuff out here so one of us can be showering and the other one getting ready here. So I think one of the last things would be the bunk beds. This has a little bit more head space than the top bunk. So originally we were using the bottom bunk for storage and then Calvin Hamburg, who's 6'6", six, six, he stayed with us one night and we had him on the top bunk and I felt really bad <laughs> after he stayed up there that night. He had to swivel around and he could not sit up at all. So now we keep the bottom bunk for guests that we never have. I do like each bunk has their own little click light and they have two plugins and a little nightstand. This is my favorite part of the camper. We have an outdoor kitchen. That's pretty cool to me. We have a sink, two more burners. Honestly, this is where I cook when we're on the road. I used to have bacon and eggs every morning. I would come out here to cook them because you don't really want to stink up your camper with bacon smell where it's going to linger in such a small space. We usually keep a ton of water in here when we're on trips. We're almost at the end of our trip, so it's basically empty. And the last thing out here is there's a pretty big, another bungee cord type shelf under here, and that's where I keep all of our exercise equipment. This is definitely my favorite little space in the camper. I love that I can cook out here. It's 